At a steakhouse, prepare to spend big bucks on big meals. That's why it's important to know which loaded baked potato is worth your money and stomach space before you order. These are our rankings from worst to best. Laying down the surf and turf beat since 1983, Hasa Steak and Sea House merges land and sea in affordable synchronicity, including an extensive spread of soups and greens found at the salad bar. Plenty of reasons, such as the COVID-19 crisis, have factored into the decline of this Pennsylvania chain, though food quality could play a role. Case in point, the loaded baked potato. One reviewer on TripAdvisor highlighted this item among the many reasons they weren't planning on returning to this establishment. Good loaded potatoes are piled high, bursting forth with creaminess and a little crunch from the bacon and chives, but not at Haas's. The sour cream is barely a drip, and you'll have to scrape off a slimy cheese layer to even dig into the bacon bits supposedly scattered in there. Other complaints about the tough, difficult-to-eat interior and a wrinkled peel paint an even more unappetizing picture. Another contender for the worst comes from sit-down extraordinaire Ruby Tuesday. For the chain that slings steaks and burgers in America's suburban corners, it's customer grievances, not the spuds, that arrive fully loaded. The ratio of sour cream to butter, according to one Yelp user, is seriously skewed. You'll also be shocked, as another reviewer was, by the potato's pitifully small size. Stuffing your spud typically comes at a higher price when dining out. However, Ruby Tuesday demanding $1 extra feels less like an upgrade and more like a fine. Because the loaded potato is not substantially hearty nor enticing, what can diners expect from the upcharge? Since it's already easy to whip up a spud at home, it's best to stick with the menu items Ruby Tuesday excels at, such as the crispy chicken sandwich. With over a dozen chop houses dotting the West, including locations in Oregon, Nevada, and California, hearty meat and potatoes grub is where clean jumper strikes gold. So in theory, you should be wooed by the restaurant's loaded baked potato side. What else exudes starchy goodness like lusciously melted cheese flowing beneath chopped bacon, chives, and a cloud-like dollop of sour cream? However, the combination falters when served atop a charmless spud that has been dehydrated to the texture of shoe leather. Look at these delicious men shoe eat it! Considering that the steakhouse is famous for slinging gullet-testing portions across its 15 eateries, the side dishes themselves are going to take up a lot of space in a person's daily diet. In the case of the loaded baked potato, tacking on an extra 766 calories is a hefty investment. Unfortunately, diners consider it to be underwhelming. If you're looking to sink roughly a third of your recommended daily calories into a delectable treat, save it for desserts. Other steakhouse chains can whip up a decent baked potato, so go for the multi-tiered chocolate motherload cake here and leave the savory spuds at the door. Sizzling juicy steaks at a smart price? It's a tactic Logan's Roadhouse has used to lasso hungry diners since 1991. Although $12 sirloins can be very tempting, the lower prices at this establishment also indicate that the quality is somewhat lacking. Sure, spending $4 on a loaded baked potato with the classic fixings is definitely a bargain, but after tasting it for yourself, you'll probably understand why it's so cheap. Technically, the spud is cooked, and the works, cheese, bacon, and sour cream, are plopped in the center ready for your fork to fluff up. But on account of the stale, mealy potatoes, the starchy vessel is a letdown beyond any doubt. Not to mention there are no green onions to be found. The heaviest spoonful of sour cream might have a chance of reviving the parched center, but even then, you'll have to factor in the tough peel that'll no doubt lay in exile at the edge of your plate. Your sirloin dinner deserves a far yummier companion than Logan's, and they're out there. Equipping diners with sizzling slabs of stone for cooking their own steaks? That's an average day at Black Rock Bar & Grill, an interactive chop house empowering customers to play grillmaster across Michigan, Maryland, Ohio, and Florida. Touting a volcanic stove that reaches an unimaginable 755 degrees fires up the steakhouse's reputation. So to find that the baked potato doesn't pack a similar heat should be a letdown for carb fanatics everywhere. At best, it's a fairly basic rendition that's not going to swoop up any awards. One customer on TripAdvisor, who called it nothing special, found that the toppers didn't stand out in any significant way. At worst, the potato comes rock solid, according to one diner, and several others spoke of their spuds being cold in the middle. When there's shredded cheese and sour cream involved, these fixings won't melt into that savory, creamy pocket of starch when the potato's cold. Instead, they congeal into a limp puddle. One TripAdvisor user was satisfied with a generously sized potato, so it's not 100% reviled. Still, you may want to rethink your dinner plans, as the cons outshine the pros. Loaded baked potatoes aren't diet-friendly to begin with, yet Fleming's Prime Steakhouse and Wine Bar takes it up a notch. 910 calories when dressed to the nines, according to the menu. To rack up around half of your average daily allotment is a lot, and at $12 per spud, one would expect gourmet delight at every bite. So does it live up to the hype? 
Even for an upscale chop house, some find the price, in comparison to the amount of fillings, steeper than necessary. One open table review summed it up best. The loaded baked potato wasn't all that loaded. Interestingly enough, Good Mythical Morning gave Fleming's potato a high ranking, mainly for the savory, salt-encrusted skin on the outside. But the channel gave equally enthusiastic praise to another, infamously cheap fast food baked potato. Any guesses? Wendy's. That's right, a drive through chain with a value menu stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the white tablecloth joint searing prime meats. Only Wendy's has all these hot stuff baked potatoes. Outback Steakhouse's rugged abode is a welcome sight for those looking to unleash their carnivorous cravings. But as far as chain-baked potatoes go, well, this side is passably loaded. No more, no less. For the most part, you'll get a silky helping of sour cream with the mix-ins taking center stage. Plus, it's also a lighter offering at 340 calories, which lets you indulge freely wherever the night takes you. Whether it's inhaling a 12-ounce sirloin meal or blazing through the complimentary Bushman bread, finding a spot for your spud is pretty much guaranteed. Any main entree should be complimented, not insulted by the courses chiming in from the sidelines. But that's where Outback starts to lose the plot. One blogger blasted the parched taste, as well as the skimpy supply of garnishes tacking along on their spud. The buttery undertone is pretty much lacking. A baked potato with the works isn't living up to its potential when more sour cream is necessary. Who says a side dish can't be your whole dinner? It's all a matter of perspective, and no chop house proves this more than Morton's The Steakhouse. Anyone concerned about calorie intake or high sodium should flip the menu page when they see the Chicago Spot's loaded baked potato. There's no doubt it's unadulterated gluttony. The full spread of toppings resembles a banquet, with the works piled high for whipping into decadent forkfuls. The issue isn't the taste. That's been proven to be solid. No, it's the truly colossal nutritional load. To be fair, customers usually split one with their group. But without exaggeration, the dish threatens to gobble a majority of your daily calories. You're looking at 1,430 calories topping off your meaty filet mignon, let alone the carousel of add-ons. A big baked potato, especially at Morton's price point, should definitely give you plenty of bang. But bloated like this? Compared to similar establishments, it's a tad much. Texas Roadhouse is sort of like Outback's western cowboy cousin, dishing out hearty square meals in almost every state. The default baked potato arrives plain, but servers will happily dress it up fully loaded. Think sour cream, bacon bits, and even the traditional beef chili. Simply put, it's not bad for the price. The ingredients seem fresher compared to the usual finds at cheaper steakhouse chains. The shredded cheddar lends a sharp tang, the inside is fluttery, and skin eaters can take advantage of the nicely seasoned peel that crackles with salt. Despite neglecting the confetti-like blitz of chives, those looking for a carb fix could do a lot worse. As a matter of fact, people tend to find the side entree extremely satisfying, though there could be more fixings. There are premium sit-down spots that sear spuds as well as their prime meats, so it won't be the most mind-blowing side. Yet, visiting the budget spot, you won't regret wrangling a loaded tater on your plate. Paying $16 for a loaded baked potato? Welcome to Del Briscoe's. Upscale chop houses that charge big bucks for a dirt-cheap vegetable might warrant some side-eye. Yet the sophisticated eatery steps the spud game up. With a buffet of fixings brought to the table, you're summoned to mix and mash the taters with an ideal amount of toppers according to your whims. The tangy sour cream, the green onion curls, the juicy bacon, and the sharp cheese all coalesce within a well-cooked skin that tastes crispy and stays crispy, regardless of how you dress it. With the exception of the salt-heavy peel that could potentially irritate sensitive palates, this offering talks the talk of loaded-up savoriness. It's a premium standout capable of complementing a premium ribeye or lobster tail without outshining the core meal you came for. Assuming the massive tater doesn't fill you up first, a round of Brussels sprouts and the roasted wild mushrooms would take your meal over the edge. To best sum up Longhorn Steakhouse's loaded baked potato, one Yelp user wrote, how can you go wrong with potatoes with bacon, sour cream, and cheese? The ingredients essentially mirror what average Americans stock up on from the grocery store, like Idaho-sourced spuds and Daisy brand sour cream. But the dish carries the weight of a savory delicacy, seemingly reserved for the triple-digit steakhouses beyond our budget's reach. Having witnessed both extremes on the ratio of spud to fixings, the garnishes here are abundant without overburdening the baked foundation beneath. A reviewer from Business Insider was pleased by the bacon and shredded cheese caressing the whipped peaks of potato, while chopped onions infused a crisp zing. The cheese and aged cheddar imbues a solid richness that's a fitting match for the butter and sour cream. Not to mention, at 470 calories, the portion is just right. It won't interfere with pre-feasting nibbles, should you grab a slice or two of the honey wheat bread, a longhorn tradition. 
Travel and Leisure declared Ocean Prime worthy of the extravagant price tag. And while $18 is a whole lot of dough to spend on a loaded baked potato, when you see the monstrous size of this thing, you'll realize you're getting your money's worth. One of these huge and delicious taters brims with the garnishes. It's dressed and stuffed like an Armani suit. Thanks to ample amounts of sour cream, cheese, bacon, and chives descending a boulder of pillowy starch, the flavor rockets off the tongue. Open table reviews number in the thousands, and it's common to view positive feedback centering not just on the ambiance and service, but also on the loaded potato. To claim it's shareable doesn't exactly do it justice. The pure heft of this loaded potato makes couples on date night struggle to polish one off together. One astonished reviewer declared, I've never seen such a large potato. Considering how root vegetables are smashed, scalloped, and julienned to perfection at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse, you might skim past the menu's fully loaded offering by accident. Don't make that regretful error. It might sound hyperbolic, but the baked tater could be the best $10.50 you'll spend on any side dish from a steakhouse chain. With the plentiful toppings and price, this one easily takes the number one spot. There are the lush pools of sour cream and butter, tossed with flecks of bold green onion that rain down the edges. There are chunks, not bits, not pieces, but actual chunks of chewy bacon, all of which collide through a stringy web of grated cheese. Best of all, the potato is really stuffed. Only the heftiest vegetables are selected for serving, so every guest who orders one will be treated to an entire pound. Dining at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse is a whole new experience, so come hungry. Overall, the whole thing contains 800 calories, so make sure to bring an appetite.